Hi guys, welcome to Shaq's World, my name is Shaq. We have another fantastic sunny day, Sydney, Australia. You guys might be wondering why am I wearing a jacket in this nice weather? The reason is I've got a sore throat and a cold as well, unfortunately. Today I'll be doing a quick walk around my new toy. Before that guys, smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. I'll adjust my camera angle for you guys. <coughs> I bought this scooter of a gentleman named Craig, who happens to own a motorcycle transporting company. He's a great guy, very honest. Um, he wasn't the easiest person to negotiate, but I mean, like I can compromise. He was still a great guy. He looked after me very well. I'll put his links in the description. So what is this? This is a 2011 model Honda Lead. From memory, I think it's 100 or 110 cc, somewhere around there. Uh, so it's in pretty good condition. However, it's been dropped before, as you guys can see. It's got a bit of scratches here, around there, around here as well, all around here. It's got about 7,000 kilometers on the clock, as you guys can see. <coughs> so I'll show you guys the storage space. It's got plenty of storage space. One second. Unfortunately, the box is locked. So what I'll do is open the re-storage space up. One second. So you can put a full-size helmet in this. You can probably squeeze in some extra bags, maybe a small bag around here. So it's, it has very good storage space. That's where the fuel tank is under the seat. You, you can put a small scooter helmet around here. You got your small toolkit. Oh, you got your logbooks here, as you guys can see. So you guys might be wondering, why did I decide to get a scooter? It just doesn't make sense. I've got a super sport road bike, a thousand cc. I've got a track bike. I've got a dirt bike. It just doesn't make sense to get a scooter. Well, the reason is I've been on scooters before. They're a lot of fun. However, I've never owned any. So I like to try new things. Trying new things excites me. And I haven't seen any custom scooters on Australian roads. So I'll probably customize this or get it rented out, or I might do both. Customize it, then rent it out. Because these scooters, they're very cheap to maintain. Um, it's very cheap to register. Registration is very cheap. It basically costs nothing. The tires are very cheap. I mean, like you look at it, it's very small tires. So the same amount of money I paid for these, I could have got myself a 2014 and upwards towards about 2017 model scooters with extra 10 to 20 cc's so it just doesn't make sense to get an old scooter with less cc's well it will make sense now when i tell you guys see this is a honda hondas are made for their reliability they're built to last they're bulletproof they're very good scooters parts are cheap dealer networks is very good however when you buy a korean scooter there's hardly any dealer networks around my area they're not as reliable as a Honda and the parts are not very easy to find so they're the reasons why I decided to get a Honda otherwise I would have got myself a Korean bike if the parts were easy to find um, dealer networks was easier because it would have been a lot better to get a newer bike so what I'll do is I'll start it up for you guys so this is how you start up the scooter you turn this key you hold this that's the rear brake that's the front brake so what you do is you hold up the rear brake and hit the start button here so as you guys can see I'll turn the scooter off so you guys might be wondering when I twist the accelerator why does the rear wheel spin well the reason is because scooters are automatic, so what you do is all you have to do is just twist the um, accelerator and go. However, on my other motorcycles, it's manual, so you gotta go one down and then four or five up, depending on the bike. <coughs> That's the reason I got a scooter. Guys, thanks for watching. Please smash that subscribe button, hit the notification button.